ships and pertains to Saudi Arabia and we mentioned that Saudi Arabia oh pardon me the American Kingdom of Saudi Arabia <laughs> is an ally of the Zionists uh, and the questioner asked well why don't you also mention some of the good things about Saudi Arabia hmm? Dajjal is not a fool oh no and so Al Jazeera is not a fool oh no Dajjal is not a fool and so Al Jazeera is not a fool <laughs> in order for Al Jazeera to succeed in brainwashing the Arab masses into supporting the insurrection in Libya and supporting the insurrection in Syria which are Zionist planned and Zionist financed huh? in order for Al Jazeera to be able to do that and brainwash these cattle Al Jazeera has to have impressive credentials so if you look at Al Jazeera I don't have television at home sorry so I don't read and look at it if you look at Al Jazeera you will find that some of the reporting is excellent some of the programs are excellent better than all the other television programs in the Arab world okay it's the same thing with Harun Yahya if you look at his books and his documentaries and so I believe there are probably a hundred Harun, Harun Yahya in under one you find that it is excellently written the standard is very high the standard of scholarship is very high and if you look at the Ottoman Islamic Empire you see the same thing that the Ottomans like Saudi Arabia the Ottomans like Saudi Arabia enforce the Sharia in many ways and so we were impressed with what they were doing with the Sharia the Ottoman Empire but the secret is you have to give them that 95% that dazzles them so you can slip in the 5% of pure poison so the Saudi regime could fool Tom Dick and Harry but they would not fool us if you become an ally of the Judeo-Christian Alliance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran in Surah Al-Ma'idah in verse number 51 says to you you have lost your Islam that's what the Saudi leadership have done they have lost their Islam so they can imply and enforce as much Sharia as they want and mean Makkah look like Las, Las Vegas but it wouldn't save them from the punishment that awaits them for having betrayed Allah and his messenger in a monstrously evil way